Hi guys! I'm here with this month's uh, design team project for Release the Craft In. It is a digital kit called, and let me I hope I'm saying this right, Chematism? Uh, cause, no, Chematics. That sounds better. Uh, it's a Egyptian neo -pagan, pagan religion term, which I looked up and found out on <laughs> Google. So anyway, it has an Egyptian theme, basically. Um, basically religious Egyptian theme, but I just made an Egyptian theme. I didn't really know too much about it at the time. Anyway, so what I did was I made this cute little pyramid. And this is an image from the kit. This is an image from the kit. This is an image from the kit. And then this opens up. Put this little ribbon on the top. It is lined with images from the kit. And then what I did was I made this little uh, journal that fits inside my pyramid. This particular journal, I shrunk the entire kit way down so it would fit inside my pyramid. This was the correct original size that it came, and I shrunk it down. And I don't know <laughs> if y'all watch Ancient Aliens. I do. <laughs> Ancient Aliens believes that the Egyptian uh, religions, pharaohs, uh, culture was built, was influenced heavily by aliens having come and interacted with them in some way. But anyway, one of the big things is they found this um, this little sculpture, metallic emblem in one of the people's crypts and it looked like a little jet fighter plane. It didn't look like a bird at all. It did look like a jet fighter plane. So I found this little charm, which was a paper airplane, but it was metallic. So I thought that would be kind of a wink and a nod to that, to add it to my Egyptian themed book. Um, this is held closed by some sari silk and then this piece of upholstery fabric with two large grommets through it. Anyway, so this is some upholstery fabric that my boyfriend had in his shop that he no longer uses this um, company and I don't know, it looked like, it looked like eyes to me. <laughs> it also looked like um, peacock feathers. Both are heavily used in Egyptian ideology and their imagery, so thought it was appropriate. Also, it's really pretty color. It's just some gold trim I had laying around, and um, so let's look in the book. This is some more um, upholstery fabric. There's some little pockets on the inside. This is a page from the kit. Again, I think I shrunk this down about 1 16th of the size that it normally was. The imagery is all the same though. It's just smaller. Here's some more. Some tea stained paper. This is a little fold out. It's just um, cut out with a punch. Here is some more imagery from the kit. Here is a little tag I made. This is also some imagery from the kit. I just punched out a little tag. A page these are pages from the kit this is just a little tag I created I love this this is where um I got the kitty cat because obviously they were part of Egyptian culture and even worship and that's what I used on the front of my pyramid on the, when the it was regular size before I reduced it this these hieroglyphics from the kit this little ledger this is from the kit from the kit. Again, some more of the hieroglyphics I cut out just to make a little pocket over here. Offcuts, ledger, page from the kit. This is a top loading pocket I made and then this was just a piece of the kit I cut down to make a tag. I liked, I liked that image. I thought it was pretty. 
I'm sure it means something. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> Except for it's cool. Another page from the kit. And some more hieroglyphics I cut out of the kit and created a tag with. This little image here is from the kit. I just fussy cut it out and put it on the pocket. It's from the kit. Oh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's a page from the kit, obviously. Love that. Piece from the kit. Piece stained paper. Just a few little journaling cards. I cut out pieces of the kit, back them on some tea stained paper or cardboard. There's another page from the kit. This little journaling card I made from the kit. It's a tuck spot. This little stone was part of the kit I cut out. Ledger. This is part of the kit. Part of the kit. Again, this is just a little journaling card I made. I'm cutting up a piece of the kit. This was um, before I decided to shrink it down. I had printed the kit out, and uh, so I used all the I used those pieces to make my ephemera. This is part of the kit. There's, there's a smaller size. That's the larger size was what I used for the tag. This is a trunk and down. It's a belly band. There's a card I made. This was when it was original size, so I just cut it out, and made it a journaling card. This is from the kit. This is a piece of the kit I cut out from the regular size and made a journaling card. This is from the kit. This is from the kit. Here's the back. Has another fabric pocket. And there's the back of the journal. So I do find a lot of times that um, changing sizes of the kit, making, making it, printing it out in multiple sizes, is very helpful when I want to do something. Now, I hadn't intended on making this smaller, but then I decided I was going to make that pyramid. And if I made a pyramid big enough to put <laughs> my original size uh, book in there, yeah, that would not have worked out real well. So, um, I did end up using it. I didn't waste what I printed out because I used it for journaling cards and to line the inside of the pyramid. And I saw, I've always had a fondness for Egypt and the Egyptian culture. I love um, all things Victorian and the Victorians had a fondness for Egyptian motifs. So... I really love that too, but um, so this is my design team project, Release the Craft In, and um, I'm not sure if she has this available in her Etsy shop yet. I have to look. Um, I know she created this because she was making a journal for someone. I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. I love the hieroglyphs. I love, I, I just, I, it's, it's a cool thing. I kind of wanted to make it a little more on the King Tut side, but she didn't include any of those images because hers was more of a religious kind of kit. And so I didn't go out and look for any of those because once I got my head set on the fact that I was going to make this pyramid, it kind of took over the whole project. And I'll give you another look at that real quick. Here's the inside. Um, I had it closed. I put two little magnets under these flaps on the side so it would stay closed. And then I had trouble opening it. So I put this loop up here with this bead that I could just pull it down and be able to see inside. Again, all of these things were just mounted on cardboard and then just put a little gold wax around the edge the pyramid itself was made with an the it's chipboard base. The gold paper is made by taking black uh, cardstock and running it through an embossing folder. Then I put um, gold wax on it 
and then I sprayed it with this silver spritz mist uh, that my friend Thespa sent me in a bunch of, of things she sent me. And um, my daughter also said that when I put this cat on here, it needed a blingy collar. So that's just some stick on gems that I had in my stash. So that is my design team project. And I have to say that I'm at like 435 subscribers. I have been stuck at four, in the 430s, I'd say for six months. A lot of people watch my channel, but a lot of people don't subscribe. I'm not exactly sure why. Maybe because I don't say, hit that bell, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, all that other stuff that everybody says. Um, but I'd like to at least make it to 450 subscribers. If I make it to 450 subscribers, I'm definitely going to have a giveaway. And I think this is what I'm going to use for my giveaway. So let me know what you guys think about that. Let me know if it's a good idea. And um, yeah, so this is my project. This is what I've been up to. And I hope you like it. And let me know what you think. And you guys can tell that I'm simply obsessed with making chipboard things <laughs> now. So that is who I am. And uh, yeah, so stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and uh, come back and see me. Talk to you later. Bye.